Hi guys and welcome to the Cooley Craft Corner. My name is Sierra and today I have my very exciting um, first flip through of a journal that I have made. So this is the one that I've been working on for a friend of mine that has the ripped um, French dictionary pages and the coffee dyed fabric. I did three signatures per a lot of people's, well, maybe not a lot of people's suggestion, but there was definitely some suggestions to do three with the number of pages that I did, which was 32. This is a birthday gift for a friend and she turned 32 years old. So we did 32 pages to honor that. Hopefully Jordan's gonna cooperate. <laughs> All right, so the first thing in here I'm going to include some extra stationery, I think, in the back, but I have these lace pockets. I did a sample card that um, she could journal on of lace. I have a um, map of Paris, and this is a bridge score card. I'll stick those back in here. So it starts out with some velvet um, flocked paper. Open it up. little embellishment here. It's got a lot of Victorian theme in it. So we got the textured paper, needlepoint, coffee paper, um, ledger, and then this is a kind of floating interactive belly band here so she can tuck stationery or whatever um, inside of here. Uh, this is a illustration of a desk from I believe the 1700s, which not that that's Victorian, but I just wanted to include that because I thought it was pretty. Music paper, stationery. Here's the hinged pages of the Titanic that I did. Got some little mini graph paper, little 3D sticker from the Dollar Tree. Got the signature center here with the wrapping paper that she mentioned that she really liked. So I included that in each signature. Got a little label. I picked this picture of Ariel, which she loves um, Little Mermaid, because it had a lot of writing space here, so that way she could still journal on it. And then here, I didn't like the other side, so I um, made a, a tuck spot out of a Victorian image here. Got a little French embellishment. Got a couple journal cards she can use. I'm going to tuck that in here. It's the other side of that music sheet. Got a Victorian element here. Ledger, some lace on the coffee dyed paper. I'm just flipping through. Got a little stamp. This is a tuck spot with a couple journaling card pieces in here. And that is the end of the first signature. And now for the second signature, it starts out with a belly band and I got some little cards, um, little area she can journal on in the back of the coin, some little faux tickets from Timu. And this is the journal card with the items I made from Janet Kate. And I stuck a little playing card because I liked the color um, in there. So I stuck all of those, oh my goodness, elements in there. Got some rose um, cross stitch pattern. This is a flip out with a card that I picked out for her. The colors went with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this out very well. There we are. Vintage card. It says thanks for listening on it. Now I'm just going to tuck that in later. <laughs> All right. Castle page with this gorgeous library. Beautiful. A little Victorian sticker. Got some glitter paper here, stationery. More castle, some Victorian elements. The second signature, which I made this into pockets. I have a couple stickers. I'm gonna include some more for her to use. And then I have this uh, Martha Washington um, journaling card that I made. And there's another ticket as the tab top. All right, coffee paper, a label on top of the castle page. Lots of journaling space here in this like blueprint. Um, lace on this stationery. Got a label. Journaling space here with these beautiful statues. Um, gorgeous ceramic pottery. Got a label and this little um, 
I mean, it's kind of like a hiding spot. She could put something here if she wants and then just kind of cover it up. But it's um, some uh, pottery from, I think, the 1700s. A lot of the um, 1700 stuff was from Thomas Jefferson's house and um, George Washington. It was like a book about some of the first important men in our country. So it had some interesting um, pictures of the decor and the things that they used at the time. Uh, this is a picture of Paris with a journaling card top here. Stamped image on the coffee paper. More of that needlepoint. Here is an image from a Titanic book that I made into a journaling card. Tuck it inside this little um, antique house. And that is the end of the second signature. The third one starts out with this rose here. She, uh, <coughs> excuse me, likes roses. Got some images here. Oops. From the Titanic. Got some ledger, purple paper, some scrapbook paper with lace, more scrapbook paper. And we got a little flip out for some extra journaling space. These are French Victorian dolls. Got some coffee dyed paper. Got a little sewing machine embellishment with some lace here, graph paper. And this I left open, so she could either tape this shut, glue it shut, or she could just glue the side and make it into a pocket. I'm not sure what she wants to do with it. I um, tucked in this little gold button here. Got a couple of the Victorian ladies, some washi tape, um, this phone sticker from the Dollar Tree. I like these little 3D stickers are really cute. More of the antique dolls. Made a little journaling card right here. And a little pocket with some stamps that are like sewing themed. She loves the uh, textiles. This is from a Timu sticker package with some lace. I cut it out and just made an embellishment for the page. And there's one of the little lady stickers. The back of the ledger and the last page of the Titanic um, book that I had hinged. And then the last page has this Victorian-esque um, belly band and I just made this like simple lace card. She can embellish it however she likes if she wants to add anything to it. And then on the back I have this cross stitch bookmark that she can um, decorate and make her own however she wants. I'm going to include a couple other papers, I think, in stationery and stick them back here or potentially in the pocket in the center of the book. But yeah, guys, that is the first flip through of the first journal I've ever made. There was some trial and error. You know, I wish these stitches were um, a little tighter. But it, for my first time, I'm actually really proud of myself. I was really nervous to bind it. Decorating it was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to make my next one. Leave your thoughts down below um, of what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.